Do you ever get the feeling when you wake up in the morning that you're in love, but you don't know with what? You know, it's funny, I feel like this play is a perfect spring play because it's about rebirth. My name is Liesl Tommy, and I'm directing Melancholy Play, Chamber Musical. A chamber musical, it's an intimate affair. My name is Christopher Wyndham, and I'm choreographing Melancholy Play, the chamber musical. And the journey of the play is a woman who, um, who is sort of living with, with melancholy, with sadness, and her encounters with the people around her cause the people to blossom and cause her to blossom and she falls in love. It's really a romantic comedy. Typically, musicals are considered big, splashy productions, but when you take on a chamber musical, there's a quality of delicacy about it, of intimacy about it. In the most traditional sense, chamber concerts were done in private rooms, in private homes, with a super intimate audience. But it's a string quartet and a piano, which is very unusual so for a musical. You know, that makes it intimate, it makes it cozy and delicate, um, and you know, the strings are just so beautiful, so all of the kind of beautiful, joyous music just is given another life because of these incredible strings. The movement requires a special delicacy as well. We say the word organic over and over again in this process, that every gesture, every physical expression has to be organic to the fabric of the play. The Trinity style, um, the, the, the visceral approach to performance, the connection with the audience that they, that they just have, and it's the stuff that when we're, work, we're out there in the world working with other actors, we're always fighting for, you know, is to bring that, that, that Trinity energy into the, into the other shows, and it's just here. So the alchemy of the two of us, of our collaboration and our training here, and the acting company at Trinity, who we're all just speaking the same language. It is surprisingly so full of humor, wit, love, deep feeling emotion. Not particularly beautiful, but I suffer so well.